hey, Ross World, no, this is a money rip. This is a money rip. Now, for you new to money rips, I don't do that many, but when I do, it's basic me, me ranting and me complaining about something. Property tax. Who owns a home? Who owns a condo? Do you pay property tax for a condo? I probably need to research that. Who owns a double wide trailer? Okay. Who owns a townhouse? Who owns a duplex? Property tax. Let me tell you something. For single family homes, I'm going to base this video off of that. Single family homes. So you got a three bedroom, three bathroom, 2,400 square feet home. Okay. You got a nice little backyard. You got a nice front yard, whatever. Property tax. Who are you paying property tax for? Why are you paying property tax? Didn't you buy your home from Carruthers? Didn't you buy your home from D.R. Horton? Didn't you buy your home from Sound Built? Didn't you buy your home from Solid Homes? Whatever. Okay, there's a trillion house making organizations. There's a trillion house making builders. Property tax. So you go through a bank, a credit union, or someone's personal line of credit, and you buy your home. Whether it be $200,000 or $500,000. Once you get that loan, the home is still not yours. We understand this, right? That the home is the bank's. Even though we call it our home, we put pictures up. But at any time you start making that payment, they can come and take the home you said it was. I'm off of it. This is not what the video is about. This video is about the government, okay? Whether it be state or federal, because this is the thing. The reason why you pay property tax is because you may own your home, but you don't own the land that your home is on. Let me say it again. You may own your home. Take, for example, you paid off your loan from the bank and you got the deed to your house. So $250,000 home is now yours, it's in your name, you have the deed, great. You own the home, but you don't own the land that it's on. You know why? You're paying property tax. Now, you talk to some people who have had the same land in their family for generations, some of them don't pay property tax. You know why? They own the land. See, when states in local areas were being established, they bought up all the land. They took all the land so they can charge you taxes for having your home on their state land, on their federal land. And at any time, if they wanted to, they can buy you out. They can push you, you can go to court, you can do whatever you want, you will lose. You pay property tax. Now, someone may try to debunk this, they may try to debunk this, but the point is this. Why do you pay property tax? Oh, you're like, oh, that goes to the city, that goes here, that goes there. Okay, uh, you either pay state tax, you pay sales tax, or like in Texas, you pay property tax, okay? You pay property tax. But let me tell you this, before property tax existed and family was passing homes down generation to down generation, they wasn't paying tax because they owned the land. Why would I pay you tax on the land that I own? Why would I pay you tax on the land that I own? Talk to me. Talk to me. This is the thing. Because at any time, they can come, not take your home, but make you sell your home so they can knock it down. And some people, they actually try to uproot their home and move it. Some homes can handle that move, but a lot of homes can't. Why are you paying property tax on a home that you own? Think about that. Is it because you can't move it? Right? Because if you bought a car, right, you, you pay sales tax, registration, all these other things, right? But you don't pay property tax. But once you pay off a car, is it not your property? Or is it because you can move that property? Or maybe because it's not big as a home, it is not easily mobile or mobile, right? So if you don't think, or if you think you own the land that your house is on, do your research, people. 
Do your research because you can own the home, right? But every year when you do your taxes, property tax, who it goes to, you have to file your taxes with the IRS. And even though you own your home and you don't have enough money to pay your property tax, what does the IRS do? They take your home, don't they? They take your home. Even though your home may not be on federal land, but you still owe the federal government property tax. That's why this is a money rip because it's freaking ridiculous. This is outrageous. And some of you is like, Pow. yeah, an epiphany, the light bulb, boop, this busted. It went off. It went off because the filament burnt out. Look up filament, F-I-L, mint. You got it. <laughs> This is why I'm upset. This is why I'm mad, right? Because you truly never really own the land that your house is on. You got a percolator out there, a playground, a four-wheeling play park. You got swings for your kids. You got swimming pools you done dug in the ground. You own the home, but you don't own the land that your home is on. Property tax. See, this is the thing. I want you to do your due diligence, okay? Come back with all types of information like you guys do. You guys that are part of the channel, let me tell you something. I love your comments, I love your research, and I love your intellect because you're not only making yourself smarter, you're making me smarter as well. And this is how we reach the people to tell them about the bull crap that we're all been subject to because it's bull crap, right? Because you, you work your butt off. You say, you know what? I'm going to own this home in 15 years. I'm going to own this home in 15 years. Right now, I'm 25, right? And at 40, I'm going to own my own home. But guess what? You don't own the land because you're still paying property tax. And some people are going to say, oh, well, the property tax is for the sewer and it's for this. Wait a minute. Sewer, I paid for sewer, it was $100 a month, right? That's a service. Sewer, wastewater, it's a service, okay? You still pay water, okay? Electricity, gas, all those things. It's a service, because technically you can call and say, hey, stop it, I'm not gonna flush my toilet no more, okay? I'm not gonna drink the water no more. I don't want electricity, I got candles and firewood. You still gonna pay Property tax. Yes, you are. You're still going to pay property tax. And I think the only way that you will truly understand this, if you're where I'm from, Washington, D.C. Let me tell you why. I'm going to give a brief little history and I'm going to end this video so you can go do your own um, research. And Washington, D.C. is a made up district, right? We're not a state. Taxation without representation. What that means is the highest form of government that we have in D.C. is a mayor. No, 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 no. You don't get it. A mayor. We don't have a senator. We don't have a governor. We don't have a representative. We don't have anything except a mayor, but we get taxed like we are a state. And we're not. We're a district. All right. Now, the other part of this is Virginia and Maryland, back in the day, gave land for government officials to be at, which created D.C., the nation's capital, because... If my memory serves me correct, the nation's capital used to be in Pennsylvania. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was in Pennsylvania. Then it got moved to D.C. because they wanted a prestigious area that government and politicians, officials could live and do all the business for the United States in one place, okay? And that kind of influxed the population and increased of black people because back then we're not gonna get into slavery and servants and all that. But that's why DC back in the 70s, 80s and 90s was Chocolate City, now Atlanta is. But DC is a created city for politicians and government officials, okay? So you don't own the land. In DC, he, in DC history, it teaches us that you never own the land in DC. It's actually borrowed land from Virginia and Maryland. So. You're just renting it. <laughs> you don't even own the land in D.C. for you guys who are from Washington, D.C. You don't own the land. You own the house. This is Ross World. Debunk it. Research it. Holler at your boy. Property tax. And that's a bunch of bull. I'm out.